Hi Leo, this is your January 2021 tarot forecast. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus signs. And it is a general reading. So you can treat this like a love, career, romance, travel, or business reading. <clears throat> and I'm going to shuffle three more times and we'll see what you need to know for January 2021. I think my throat is a little bit wonky because the weather's changing, but I'm not sure what else to say about that. But I'm sorry if I have to clear my throat throughout the reading. It's, um, I'm not sick, so I'm not sure what it's about, but full disclosure. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what do you need to know? Also, congratulations for getting to, through 2020. What a wild, wild ride, so pat yourself on the back for that. <clears throat> All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Do you need to know for January 2021? Just for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Wow, working on an extremely happy home. Look at this. Creating a legacy, hard at work. What a very happy home legacy. Wow, we'll see if it shows up in your reading. Um, January 2021, Leo, Sun, and Rising Venus. All right, guys, let's get out your Celtic cross. <laughs> yes, overkill. You want to make a decision around a love situation. You might have to put the brakes on something. Something was unfulfilling. You could have been dealing with someone who was bringing infidelity into the mix, a big mystery at the end. Yeah, this could be a challenging month for you here, guys, but it looks like just a major decision needs to be made around communication and being stern, having stern communication, possibly with someone who uh, really let you down, deserted you, abandoned you. If this is a love reading or a third-party situation reading for you, um... This could have been infidelity as well because the five is paired right next to the ten. The five is abandonment. The ten is a happy home uh, and legacy. So, yeah, there could be some forgiveness work necessary here. But uh, Leo for the um, overall energy is the eight of swords. So we have a lot of this sense of I can't. There's a sense of um, we have quite a bit of swords here actually in your reading. So something's going on in your head where you feel stuck, right? You feel stuck, possibly around a decision having to do with your head or heart. I think you know what to do. There's way too many swords around this. I mean, besides the underlying energy, the central position is the 10. In your recent past, you have a victorious clarity, and then you have this really cold, severe, uh, what's well, coming towards you, <clears throat> energy here with the king of swords. So... I think if this, um, whether this is career, love, romance, business, you know, property ownership, I don't really see that besides a family. You could be selling a home and not getting what you want for it. You could have to leave a home here, but, you know, nonetheless, we do see a sense of, I don't, there's a sense of hopelessness there, which is kind of a drag. But I think that you will know what to do once you make a decision. So we have overkill as the situation. Overkill is the situation. I do want to confirm again, this is going on in your own mind. If you are communicating with someone, this isn't even causing arguments. This is just creating possibly more to be confused about, possibly more to hurt you. So perhaps communication could be at a standstill. There could be a lack of communication altogether or a complete cutoff of communication, or if there is communication coming in, <clears throat> it could be very cutting, it could be very severe. <clears throat> Pardon me. So the Ten of Swords in the central position for the month for you is crossed or um, challenged by the Gemini-ruled lovers. So a very important choice about what's next. And I just feel like when it comes to the Ten of Swords with the lovers and it's Gemini ruled, 
this could, you know, th third house, right? This could be short-term travel. It could be your sisters and brothers, cousins, immediate family. You might have to cut someone off here, Leo. Um, and certainly if this is a love reading for you. Um, sorry, this is a six. I said three. I didn't mean three. I meant six. Um, you know, that balance. You need to be rebalanced here. And in terms of lovers and love, like what you love, you may feel <clears throat> insecure or unable to support that or reveal that, okay? Here in what's coming towards you is the King of Swords and then at the base or the foundation is the Eight of Wands. This is really fast, exciting communication and then you have it, you know, authorized by this clinical, cold, severe, I mean, he's probably right, um, but this King of Swords is very severe, clinical. This could, if this is a health reading for you, this could have to do with health information coming in regarding health and wellness. Or it could have to do with um, institution of some sort, okay? So um, some clinical institution here. And it could be government as well. Um, but messages coming in around someone in authority, someone in a position of communicative authority. You could be dealing with an Aquarius individual as well, or if this could have to do with your peer groups, not just your family and friends, but your whole entire peer group. <clears throat> so very interesting to see that for you here as well. This is definitely a time, like in the first week or so, I know this is up a little late, but you know, I would say by the end of the week, the first week, it would be good to make a decision. Because here in your recent past, it looks like a decision was made, a real victorious moment of clarity here, new ideas, new communication style. But it was, you know, here in your near future, there's this offer of love <clears throat> that just isn't cutting it. It's not exciting. There's disappointment, there's delay. There's an inability to accept an offer of love. An offer of peace it could be a peace offering here as well. And I think that's going to make up your mind for you, really, Leo, in so many ways. There's just this element of, I know what this is going to get me. We've already had this conversation. I know where this is going to take me, right? You might even want new, an injection of new blood or life in this situation, but... Something remains, <clears throat> excuse me, something remains a mystery here. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. Here in the position, how others are seeing, sorry, how you see yourself is the five pentacles. Yeah, you could have deceived somebody, departed, abandoned somebody, or somebody may be accusing you of that. If there's a third party situation here, definitely you or someone around you was deceptive and, you know, there was infidelity. However, see you as this happy home. So you could still be in a position where you're trying to protect a veneer of something, where you want to be seen as something, but that's not actually happening. Or you or someone around you wants, to, you could be dealing with a Gemini and or Aquarius individual as well, or a Pisces or a Cancer individual. But it's almost like you want to be seen as something that you're not or you want to exhibit a certain personality or traits um, <clears throat> to the outside world, to your friends and family, to your peer group, that isn't entirely accurate. Uh, and it could even be daunting. It could even be a lot of energy, right? Because how others see you is this really happy home. Children, grandchildren, grandparents. Everything looks normal on the surface, but... Something is definitely missing. Here in your hopes and fears, <clears throat> pardon me, is the Knight, rather, the Page of Wands. Definitely some new excitement is necessary here, but you may not want to invigorate it. This is very useful. It's somewhat immature. It's just a message, <clears throat> a message of excitement. Someone just could be trying to draw you back. 
or you might be trying to draw someone else back. And the outcome or advice is a mystery, right? It's a mystery. There's secrets here. Tell me more about this High Priestess, the outcome. Why is the High Priestess the outcome? Why is the High Priestess the outcome? Yeah, because there is something having to do with seventh house partnerships. There is the female counterpart to this guy. If this is a relationship reading for you guys, this is a divorce, okay? This is a divorce. All right, we have two swords, court cards. We have clarity over here. Could be someone else making the decision. You may not want to hear it. Uh, but Libra energy over here, Aquarius over here. <clears throat> Libra is qualifying the high priestess. <clears throat> wow, and um, yeah, she's saying, I need more information but I'm going to cut you off the minute I hear bullshit, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, wow, wow, wow. You can't get away from your emotions, even though you try. You're trying to bury your emotions here. And it's stressful. If it's not a divorce, it's a complete severance of what was, okay? It's a complete upset. Something is completely over. A new phase must begin here for you guys. We have a couple of tens. All right, so let's get some oracle cards for you. I would just say um, a decision around between the heart and mind. Choose the heart, obviously, right? Try not to overthink something. But there really is, I mean, this heart and mind situation, a major, major decision, a major choice around something that's overkill, something that completely collapsed you. But there's still so much severity around these secrets, around the mystery. And again, I see you in charge, or someone around you in charge of withholding or in charge of what's revealed and what's not revealed. It will become known though, it will become known. These are not secretive energies at all. The Queen of Swords is qualifying secretive energy. This queen, I mean, she can be a gossip, but she's gonna say what's going on in her community. She's just gonna say it like it is. Holy smokes. <clears throat> All right, so that just flew out. And yeah. Where are we here? I need this and this. All right, let's get a couple more oracles for you, Leo. I just think it's going to be a personally challenging month for you. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. I hope this clears up by next time I do your reading because this has been happening all month. And I think it's just a change in the weather. All right. So we have a possum. A possum is diversion. Just be aware of trying to get away with something here. Diversion. Listening. Or, sorry, clean it up. Yeah. Definitely clean it up. Something that you used in the past to get away with something or get something through to someone or to change someone's mind, or to level up, or get your own way, or say the right thing is not gonna work this time. <clears throat> it's just not gonna work this time. Listening is gonna be your superpower this month, Leo. You really need to listen to, especially if this is a partnership, really of any kind, okay? This is a relationship, right? But it's any kind, and this is a relationship. So you're going to have to be ultra honest here because someone is not going to accept less, right? They already know the truth. So just roll with that. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And then romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let go of control issues. Yeah, 100% because it's dragging you down. And then we have uh, yin. 
So yin is feminine energy. It's perceptive, it's receptive. So you're going to have to stop being aggressive is what I'm seeing here. Maybe let someone else take charge. Someone else can take the lead. Follow someone else's advice. Um, you know, be respectful of facts and evidence and honesty and truth, okay? Truth is king in this environment. You can have all the heart you want, but at the end of the day, it's important to be practical about something here. Be practical about it. And don't try to get away with something. I'm understanding here that this Eight of Swords is only following the Seven, which is tactics and strategy. And the Eight is nothing's going to work. So maybe instead of st strategy and tactics, have a heartfelt communication with somebody using facts and evidence. This is going to assist you in leveling up here in a positive um, relationship of any kind outcome, right? So Leo, that is your reading. If that resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Do watch your moon and rising videos for an overall idea for the month for you. And I'll see you in the next video for your sign. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye for now.